I absolutely love my kid. And I'd walk naked and barefoot through the burning fires of Hades just to see her smile. But there are times. Parenting isn't easy, and homeschooling is parenting on steroids. When you take on the responsibility of being a homeschool parent, of being the sole guardian of their education, burnout is an inevitability. It's a lot easier to consign your child to the public system than it is to wear the hats of both parent and teacher. Life doesn't stop just because you've decided to homeschool your child. Financial issues, illness, and the birth of a new child, personal issues, added responsibilities, and uncontrollable changes in your lifestyle and plans are a fact of life. Burnout symptoms can manifest in emotional outbursts, an obvious absence of patience, overeating and nervousness. Use these signals as an indicator that changes to your routine are necessary. Noticing the symptoms early can help you avoid total burnout. Reorder your life, adjust your schedule, lower your expectations, and accept that some days will be good and some days will be very bad. If something's not working, adjust it. If you feel tension mounting, take a break. There are many ways to teach. If one path is met with resistance, find another. For example, instead of teaching your child, have your child teach you the lesson. It'll be fun for your child, and teaching is well known to be the best way to learn. You can be flexible. You are in charge. If you are naturally reclusive and yet feel the pressure to engage in activities for the sake of your child's socialization, chill for a while. Your kid will be okay, but not if you're worn out and grumpy. Don't try to do it all alone. Talk to your spouse, your older children, your family, and your friends. Get help from your homeschool support group, and remember that homeschooling should be happy schooling. Relax, this stage too shall pass.